Order, order. Welcome to Sega News Bits. I'm Barry. With me is George. First, uh, what? to the stand. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, so we're going to be talking about Project Judge, a.k.a. Judge Eyes. And um, that sounds like a show. Judge Eyes. Enter his courtroom and he'll see you. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it's like... It's like this, guys. So basically, what they're going to be doing is it's going to play a lot like the Yakuza games, and it's going to have these play spots. And is that what they call them, play spots? They call them play spots. They're mini games, whatever you yeah, want to call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And so this is pretty cool. So what they're doing in this upcoming lawyer punching people in the street game is that they're going to have some classic Sega titles, which includes Fighting Vipers and a very rare arcade racer that I haven't heard about until I saw this news post uh, by Famitsu called Motor Raid. And that's really, I'm really excited for that because is this like the first time Yakuza Studio has used one of these games to release a very rare game that's never seen a console release? Yeah, I was trying to think, like, the other day I was trying to think, like, which one have they done? And now, yeah, this is the only rare arcade game they've ported over into one of their full games. And it's so strange, right? Motor Raid, who, like, expected this? I kind of expected something like Fighting Vipers because it really feels like the studio has a nostalgic feeling for the mid-90s arcade classics like Virtual Fighter 2. Mm -hmm. But Motor Raid, I mean, it is also the same era, but it's just very surprising it's yeah. almost like having a port of like Revenge of Death Adder, right? After all these years, or Daytona 2. Yeah, it was kind of weird because when I saw this, it kind of, it reminded me of when um, the Galloping Ghost Arcade does these things where they're like, "We got Air Bike Cop," you know, and I and I saw this and I'm like, "Oh, it's kind of like a weird arcade reveal, but coming from Sega." What, what's cool is we'll see a full 3D representation of this game, and what's interesting about that is Motor Raid was actually a repurposed, um, they called them conversion kits, for Manx TT Superbike. And based on the information I found, it's unknown if Motor Raid even was its own thing, or if it was only a conversion kit for Manx TT Superbike. And it's, you're like a futuristic racer uh, on motorbikes on different planets. So think like, I guess, Wipeout, but on a motorbike <laughs> and yeah it's from am1 and the cabinets from am4 and i don't know much else about this i'm really excited i heard the music is really good it got a soundtrack release so so that'll be fun isn't it like what were they thinking i mean i like this choice i like it a lot but it just yeah. feels like something like a really hardcore sega fan would want like oh this didn't get a full release so we need it in this video game and now we have it, so it's kind of strange for, like, Project Judge. I, you would think that for a new IP, they would kind of want to have a big franchise as a play spot. Because, you know, Yakuza had Virtual Fighter 2, Virtual Fighter 5. Those are huge games in Japan. But yeah. I don't I don't think something like Motor Raid and, like, uh, as much as I like it, Fighting Vipers would be like hyping people up as a extra game hmm. what do you think like do you think they they chose like why do they, you think they chose like obscure games for this well we don't really know who's working on project judge specifically so maybe one of the senior members of staff worked on this game uh in looking at in looking at the negotiate he says that like yeah this is his personal project but like i don't know you think he had anything to do with these games um i don't see him listed here however i see a lot of people who currently work at sega or people who have been very well known uh, i see uh, rikiya Nag nakagawa who worked on Die Hard arcade typing of the dead he worked on this game akira wantanabe who worked on zillion he worked on well motor raid and then there's some people here who are still at sega and are pretty high up on the food chain so it, it, you know, it could be someone like, I guess, Takashi Oda, who is the planning manager of R&D One. He's still with the company, but I'm not. Oh, here we go. Well, um, Makito Nomiya worked on the sound for this game, and he also did sound production on Yakuza Three. So there's a connection. Ah, there you go. So yeah, they probably love the music. 
<laughs> yeah, it's probably what it is. Uh, I hope it's a good game. You know, I hope it's not bad. But yeah. I feel like when the mid '90s Sega was like really hitting these 3D racers out of the park. I mean, this is the time when they made Daytona um, or after, and you know they had Sega Rally. So I could I, I could see it being lost in the shuffle of all the great 3D racers they were delivering at the time. It kind of sucks, but it's nice to see that they're resurrecting this. There's still a few other games I, I kind of hope they kind they bring back. Like, it'd be pretty cool if they had, you know, Virtual Cop 3, especially considering you're on the right side of the law in this game. So it'd be pretty oh. fun to play. You know, and nice. <laughs> what a, any other unreleased console game, arcade game you would want to see in here? Um, I think the, what I was talking about, Airbike Cop, I think that would be a cool one. I think some of those super scalar games that we never really see or talk about maybe some oh you know what golden axe uh the death adder the sequel yeah that revenge of death that adder. would be cool like why not just use these games as a cover to port games we never get you know <laughs> it feels like now we're more excited about playing uh motor raid than we are about playing judge eyes yeah are, I, are we i heard motor raids coming out later uh this year next year and it might have some lawyer game attached to it i'm looking forward to that what do you guys think about Project Judge having very rare Motor Raid arcade port and even having Fighting Vipers? Let us know in the comments below. If you like these videos, you can support us on Patreon today. The link's in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Guilty. There you go. <laughs> it's supposed to be objection.